Today we're going to do a quick video about how to log in to stay in touch and your passwords, as well as how to retrieve a password if you forget it. Stay in touch is always going to work in the Chrome browser. We don't work in Internet Explorer um, for those of you working on a PC. We do work in Safari for those of you working on an Apple. To log in, we're always going to use an email address. In this example, I'm going to use the following email address. And I'm going to put in my password and log in. And it's going to take me, once I log in, to my dashboard that's going to show that I've been logged into the Westford Bay Hotel here as my example. If I need to change my password once I've logged in, for some reason I've done something, I can go to settings and then change password and go through and change my password to be something that I want. Once I've created a password that is matching, that each of these matches, it's going to allow me to change it and save it, and I've now set my new password. Now, if for some reason I've gone through and I've forgotten my password and I need to reset it, I can always use the link that's on my front screen of forgot password to go ahead and put in my password. And use the forgot password. It's going to send me an email um, that'll come to me momentarily and it will allow me to go through and reset my password. So I'm going to get this new email that will allow me this will give me a temporary password that I can use that way but I can unlock my account and it will open it will open up in a new one I can put in the temporary password I was given and then go ahead and put in a password that I want to use now and log me oops as it tells me, I do need to have something that has not been used in some time. Passwords need to be at least eight characters of alpha and numeric and cannot be used within three time frames. So we do have that ability, but gone ahead, those are a couple quick things of how to go through and log in. As I said, if you ever have forgotten your password, you can use the email address you have and use the link forgot password. Well, in my computer, since I'm the only person that uses this one, I do save my passwords. We strongly suggest that you do not save your passwords on your computers because more often than not, you're using a shared computer. Hope this was helpful for everybody. Thank you much and have a great day.